In this pleasant valley near a large city, the Garmans recently bought a goat dairy farm. Formerly, they lived on a small farm and raised a variety of things. But now, they have moved to a large goat dairy. Mr. Garman has been milking and is getting ready to go to town with his neighbor, Mr. Gates. Patty likes to help her father and follows him around as he does his chores. She thinks their new farm is a lot of fun. Mother calls to tell them it's time for them to change their clothes. Bye, Flicker. Soon, they are on their way down the road to Mr. Gates. Patty is much younger than Brother Bill, but they like to play together. Patty likes to have Bill swing her around. Please, Bill. Oh, come on. Oh, all right. Once more. Look out, Patty. <coughs> Poor little Patty was hit. <coughs> Why did the children play in the street? The ambulance driver and first aid attendants answer distress calls all day. They are trained to work together and to do the right things. They size up the situation quickly and take care of the head injury first. They stop the bleeding on the right side of her face. Thank goodness Patty is conscious. Two patrolmen happened to be near and came quickly to help. In the ambulance's large first aid kit, there is a regular place for each needed supply. Their hands reach quickly for the bandage needed. Each household should have a kit not so big, but with the essentials needed for cuts and the most common accidents. Where did the car hit her? Both legs, poor little Patty. They have small splints just the size of Patty's legs that are padded with cotton. The splints will hold the bone straight and prevent further injury until they can be set. Lucky for Patty, this district has such a fine first aid service. They can't be sure now what injuries Patty may have. They handle her gently to protect each part of her little body. They wrap her in blankets to keep her warm. When people are hurt, they are often dazed and suffer a condition called shock. Sometimes they do not know what they are doing or how badly they are hurt. Accident cases are always treated for shock. Always keep a traffic victim warm and in a lying down position. Give him plenty of fresh air. Do not crowd around. <laughs> Officers Flint and Eccles are two of the men who patrol this district, giving assistance when needed and keeping our highways safe for us. It's pretty hard to see a little child hurt. If only children would not play in the streets. They measure the distance the car skidded at the time of the accident. Gene, the driver, tried to stop, but he was going too fast. The officers check his driving license. Officer Flint takes notes on the names and facts of the accident. Gene can't be held for the accident, but he was at fault, too. He feels badly because this is his first offense. If further investigation proves that he was at fault, they will notify him to appear in court and answer a charge of speeding or reckless driving. Jim, look at that skid. We see a lot of these cases. Sometimes it's careless young people like Gene or nervous people in a hurry or people who are tired and don't think. They never mean to do harm. It would help a lot if all the children in the United States would help prevent accidents. Over a million people were hurt in traffic accidents in this country last year. Patty's wounds are dressed at the receiving hospital 
and then she is taken to the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles where the broken bones in her legs are set. In this hospital, children of all races and creeds are cared for, whether they can afford to pay or not. Mr. Garman arranges to have Patty in a private ward with three other children, so she won't be lonesome. The doctor set the bones in her legs and bandaged them so they would grow back into place. They are held by ropes straight up in the air. There is a slight pull on the ropes called traction that will make the bones mend clean and straight. Miss Brown feels Patty's hot, feverish face. She smooths the bedclothes and does all she can to make her little patient more comfortable. The nurses here are taught always to care for their patients with tender, loving care. In the hospital, they call this TLC for short. Miss Brown adjusts the ropes so they will keep the little legs straight and yet be as comfortable as possible for Patty. Her legs feel better and will mend quicker than if she were lying flat. Patty must get used to this position because she will have to sleep and eat this way for six weeks. It takes a long time for broken bones to mend and grow together. Miss Brown holds Patty's head so it will be easier for her to drink. There, baby, gently now. Now here's your Donald Duck. Nurses wear starchy dresses and caps. They are always neat and clean. She washes Patty's face. Everything around the hospital, beds, walls, curtains, and clothes must be spotlessly clean and sanitary. This helps the patients get well. Now it's time for lunch. There's your bib. Nurses study several years to learn how to care for sick people. Many nurses are college graduates. and They enter various fields of nursing. Each patient is different and needs special care. Patty has to be fed like a baby. First, some lettuce and bread. Now a glass of milk. Oh, too bad it's spilled. Patty finds it hard to eat with her feet up in the air. The nurse gives her just the right things to make her grow well and strong. Too bad she has to stay in the hospital six weeks. If only she hadn't played in the street. Patty doesn't want any more potatoes, but the nurse is firm. Sick girls have to eat the right food, just like well children. It is the fuel that keeps their bodies strong, just like automobiles need fuel to make them go. Patty tries to be a good sport that legs do hurt. Now it's time for Patty's nap. Nurse pulls up the rails so she can't fall off. There are 150 children in this hospital and most of the accident cases were hurt in automobile crashes. After her nap, Patty talks to the little girl in the next bed who was also hit by a car. After six long weeks in the hospital, Patty is allowed to go home. Dr. Christensen put her legs in a cast to hold them firm. And oh, how good it is to be home. Dad was afraid he might lose his Patty. It's wonderful to have her home, but she still must face weeks in a cast. Here, Patty, a surprise for you. A new blue telephone. Why don't you call Brother Bill and ask him to bring you a drink? How about some root beer or strawberry pop? Why, this is like a real telephone. Patty dials their own number. And Bill calls back from another room. Strawberry pop, coming up. Good boy. And a straw, just like the drugstore has. These weeks have been long for Bill, too. Sometimes he thought he couldn't stand it. Patty, sick so long. And he could have looked after her better and kept her out of the street. He'll do anything for her. Would she like to see Mickey, the baby goat? It takes a long time for the bones to get strong. And Patty has to wear the cast for eight weeks. It's hard to turn over. 
sometimes painful. When she gets well, she will never, never play in the street again. Dad lifts her up so she can watch Bill back at the barns. Bill knows what Patty likes, and Mickey is a little beauty. He'll be glad when he can bring Patty out to the barns so she can see all the baby goats and all the work that has been done. Patty really loves the animals, and they love her. Look, Patty, isn't Mickey a fine goat? Such a pretty head. And Dad says you can have her all for your very own. Is Patty excited? Oh, how she hopes she'll be well enough for the goat show. Bill's pleased. He has been planning all these weeks what he could do for Patty. OK, Bill, you can take her back to the barn now. Patty needs a little more rest. He'll bring her back again tomorrow. And so time passes, and the bones in Patty's legs get stronger all the while. Then one day, Dad thinks she's well enough to take a ride in her wagon. Bill painted the wagon while Pat was in the hospital to have it all ready for her. Dad lowers her oh so gently on the soft pillows and then tucks her in. Isn't that going to be fun? Why don't you take her to the barns, Bill? Bye-bye. The road is pretty rough, and Bill pulls carefully so that it won't hurt Patty. Quite a pull, but he doesn't mind. It's so wonderful to have her back again. Bill has really suffered these weeks. It took so long, he was afraid she'd never walk again. But now the doctor says she'll be as good as new. Look, Patty. Dad moved the new goats in here. Patty's legs hurt. Bill tries harder than ever to entertain her. And the goats come running to do their part. Nice, funny goats. Good pets because they're so intelligent and affectionate. Patty soon forgets all about her troubles. Would she like to ride over to Ted's and see his pet lamb? He turns down their lane and pulls the wagon carefully. Mustn't overdo on her first trip out. Look, Patty, most of the lambs are in the other pasture, but sure enough, there's Ted with Bo Peep. Ted has taught her to eat out of his hand and drink out of the bottle. Dad says it's good to teach lambs to be affectionate, as it makes them better mothers when they have their own babies. Patty adores her brother Bill. These children really understand each other and will always be devoted to one another. Watch, Pat. There's Rover, Ted's dog. Watch him jump the fence. Isn't that good? Pat's getting a little tired now, and her legs hurt. Ted runs over to yell, How's Pat? Well, that's enough excitement for our young invalid for one day. Then finally, after many weeks, Dr. Christensen said she could use crutches, and after four long months, she can walk again. So much trouble because of a few careless minutes in the street. Nine months after Patty's accident, the day of the National Dairy Goat Show arrives. The Garmans have many fine goats entered in the events. Patty's sister, Barbara, entered her goat, Ginny. And for the third straight year, Ginny won the Grand Championship. 
She averages about eight quarts of milk a day. What a day, and Patty can run and play with the other children. She has told her friends about all the children at the hospital that were hurt by cars. Now, this sign means something to Patty. Stop, look, listen. These children understand the dangers in the street and will try always to protect other children. Will you help? <laughs>